guys, it's Chessa, and Jeff will be joining me a little bit later, and we're both here in the Checker Warehouse. I'd like to welcome you to the third episode of our Market Share Social Quilting event. It's a virtual sharing of the newest quilting and sewing products to help your business grow. May is traditionally when in-person spring market would take place, but no worries, we have had already part of the month and we have the whole rest of the month planned with virtual events to be able to share with you the hundreds of newest products and fabrics. To make ordering easy for you, there is a link in the description as well as a pinned comment that will take you to all of the items that are being shown today, minus the fabric selections. We will post that as we go. If you have a question or would like to take a second look at something, just pop it in the comments and Sasha or Cindy or Chrissy will let me know. It's always fun to see where you're watching from, so leave a comment with your shop name and location. Again, you can ask questions at any time, but a lot of times Sasha goes through them at the end to make sure we didn't miss any, so feel free to ask a question at any time. Your buyers are standing by to answer things that I can't, and sometimes the vendors themselves are even watching. Today, as we mentioned earlier, we invited Jeff Smithers back. He is our fabric and thread buyer, and he's gonna show you really pretty fabric collections from Riley Blake and Henry Glass. And he also has some new thread to show you guys, so make sure you stay tuned to the end of the episode. If you need to step away and tend to a customer in your store, that's okay, because as you guys know, this video stays on Facebook, so you can watch it at any time. Let's see who is watching live today. Hello, Jill from Quilted Memories in Michigan. Thanks for tuning in. Hi, Brenda from Among Brenda's Quilt Sewing Studio in Canada. Thanks for tuning in. We had a model from you last week. Hello, Sherry from Quitches Get Stitches. I just love that name. Anna Lee from Daydreams Quilt and Sew in Idaho. And Heather from Heritage Quilt and Fabric Shop in Wyoming. She was our latest giveaway winner. Nice to see you again, Heather. So I'm gonna jump in the way I usually do and we're gonna start with books. I have two from Quilt Mania. German artist Bridget Heitland of Zen Chic presents her very first book published with Quilt Mania. This is called Modern Building Blocks. This book is a small encyclopedia for blocks which she details with care, making it the perfect manual for beginners. She even touches on foundation paper piecing, as you can see on this page. And we've got applique. You can see there's color pictures and instructions. There's different sizes and variations, so no matter if your final product is going to be a bed cover or a baby quilt, Modern Building Blocks has everything for you. After the success of her previous book, our Australian friend Annie Downs from Hatched and Patched is back with a splendid mix of works of arts, both big and small. These all have a sweet, kind of delicate country style. This book is simply home quilts in little things. You have pin cushions, book covers, sewing accessories. So Simply Home Quilts and Little Things by Quilt Mania has the perfect projects to bring a soothing vibe to your home. From Land Hour is a revised edition of the Creative Grids designer Jean Ann Wright's Log Cabin Block Basics. This handy must-have booklet contains clear, step-by-step -step instructions, tips, and techniques for traditional log cabin blocks, half log cabin blocks, and courthouse steps. Also included are six log cabin block variations, your yardage requirements, and lots of other goodies that you're just gonna have to get this handy little book to know what they are. It is that great pocket size, so it can easily go with you anywhere. 
Log Cabin Block Basics Revised Edition from Landauer and Jean Ann Wright. Plan a year of sewing garment projects with the Garment Maker's Project Planner from Stash. It's spiral bound, which I always love spiral bound. You don't have to worry about folding your papers or the pages ripping. So you got some fun quotes on the inside. You have your project planning, your inspiration and sketches. This allows you to track multiple projects throughout the year because let's, let's face it, who's only working on one project at once? I always thought I would, but nope, I tend to wander. Here you have your project info, your measurements, fabric supplies, your bucket list, just all sorts of great information. You got size charts. So this Garment Makers Project Planner from Stash has everything you need for planning, dreaming, and organizing 12 different projects. My final book today is from Fox Chapel and it is Spun Cotton Crafts. There are more than 25 adorable step-by-step -step projects using affordable materials. From glitter, icicles, and a bell garland to cotton ball chicks, mothy forest mushrooms, and more. Also included is a brief history of spun cotton and helpful sections on materials and technique. Fun cotton crafts. The first project or model I have to show you guys today is Glory to Ukraine. This is from Aardvark Quilts. It is an applique runner. I know I'm just showing you part of it, but it's a very large in size. This applique runner is an homage to the art of Sinky, this is Wax Resist Design Ukrainian Eggs, and all of the proceeds from her pattern are going to the UNICEF Ukraine. Next, I have a gnome, because you guys know we always seem to have a gnome. This one is So Gnome from Hunter's Design Studio. This wall hanging is approximately seven inches wide by 36 inches long when it is finished. The pattern is written for fusible applique, but you can use any applique method of your choice. So known from Hunter's Design Studio. But wait, we have yet another wall hanging. We have the Welcome Home Patriotic Wall Hanging from Janine Babbage Designs. This will welcome guests into your patriotic home with machine embroidered, bold, just wall hanging. See all the details. This does come with instructions for an alternative version to say welcome to my home instead of welcome to our home. It's nice to have the options. We also have today some great new notions from Bohin, so let's check them out. First, we have the small box of Moreno glass head pins. These are in a blue, red, right assortment, so very patriotic. And why, why would you choose glass head pins? Not only because the density makes them easy to see on your fabric, but the ball protects the fibers of your fabric, and above all else, the glass is not going to melt while ironing. Next, we have Teflon sewing machine feet. You have a standard clip-on foot as well as your snap-on foot. So these were developed for better sliding on special fabrics such as leather, plastic, vinyl, and oil cloth. 
There is a Teflon coating on the underside of the foot that allows these fabrics to slide smoothly. And lastly from Bohin is the roller presser foot. So this facilitates the sewing of all projects using thick fabrics such as heavy wools, textured, or furry fabrics. The roller flattens the fabric before the needle passes through, which just makes it all around easier. This one is a standard clip-on foot that is compatible with most domestic sewing machines. A few episodes ago, I showed you the Welcome Home banners from Poor House Quilt Designs. You can do welcome, you can do home, and the O's were interchangeable. Well, now I get to show you that Bozel has their NR Form Plus double-sided fusible circles to go with your designs. They come in a 12-pack if you were to do one for each month, also a four pack if you're just doing one for one for each season because the pattern is written for you to have both of those options. So now that we got those in, I wanted to show you those. Did you know Checker is the exclusive distributor of Femore? Today, I have the Fermore embroidery kits, which make a great gift for a friend, family member, or even yourself. These are another one of those things that I just think the presentation is so cute and I would just want to keep it on display on my shelf in my sewing room. So this has a lightweight, durable zipper pouch. It has a super cute black rose design on it. Each tool in the kit has been hand selected by an expert in embroidery, creating an essential bundle of quality tools to tackle most, em most embroidery projects. In the kit, you have a four inch micro tip scissor that is great for detail cut work and stick removal. Then you have the ever adorable mini duckling applique scissors, the double hoop curved machine embroidery scissors. You can't forget your micro serrated snips. And lastly, the most versatile tweezer on the market, Fremore's Precision Angled Tweezers. This is available in other colorways, but this is the one I had today. There is a blue, a light blue, um, as well as a green. Let me just put this back up here. Next, we're going to talk about a new iron from L Reliable, and I will tell you in a little bit why I didn't take this out of the box, but first I'm just going to talk to you about all of the amazing features that this has. So this is the Velocity 240 IR. It is an advanced home iron that can take care of the toughest creases while gentle on delicate fabrics. With its eco and turbo settings, there is something for everyone. This 240IR patented built-in steam generator produces endless continuous steam with no leaks. We've all been on that end of it leaking on your project and it's just extremely frustrating. Which you know a lot of those traditional irons, they're, they're prone to leaking and just spitting. This iron uses a patented two heating element in micro pump technology that preheats the water and turns it into steam before reaching the sole plate. So this will give you perfect cons consistent steam even at the lowest temperatures, yet it is 100% safe for all fabrics. And you're gonna be in control because it has an auto setting that is safe for all fabrics and there is also that turbo setting that is great for your heavier fabrics that need just a little extra heat and steam. It also has an anodized aluminum sole plate, so it's going to glide really smoothly along your fabrics. It has a scratch resistant sole plate that is superior to ceramic and conventional sole plates. You also have your sensor touch technology. It will respond to your touch. So simply placing your hand on the center activates the stream of steam and releases a powerful but steady flow. There is an auto off bypass. Now this, when I read that, I was so excited because the 
iron I have at home, it, you know, auto shuts off. And sometimes I'm in the middle of a project and I, you know, sewed a couple things and I went back to press and my iron's off and it's not hot anymore. So this one does have an eight minute auto shut off, but you have the option to bypass it. So you are behind the wheel or rather you are behind the iron and you can step away and come back and your iron will still be hot. But for those of you who also me get concerned that I left my iron on, it's nice to know that there is an auto off option. So the reason I didn't take this out of the packaging, because a lot of you know Sometimes taking these things out of the packaging, it's really hard to put it back together just right. And this is going to be part of our giveaway, so I didn't want to unpackage it and not be able to put it back together exactly the way it came. So I did not open it, but you can just see the beautiful blue and white. Next, I'm going to talk about this gorgeous duffel. I just noticed the center fabric here has eggs over easy on it and that's really cute. This is the patchwork duffel from Knot and Thread Designs and you are going to need to make yourself one of these to carry all of your notions and supplies, all the great things you're seeing today and that you're going to buy. You can choose between a all solid exterior or as she done did here, she used up her scraps and made a patchwork kind of design. There are two exterior pockets. You have one on each side and then your nice zipper at the top. This is 12 inches wide by 20 and a half inches long. So very generous in size as you can see. Next we have our favorite model, Chrissy. I knocked the thread down. Get your little pedestal. So today she is sporting the Anytime Topper designed by Amy Barrickman. This loose fitting versatile style can go from casual to a cocktail party depending on the fabric choice. As you can see here we have a batik brown one, we have this nice black one, kind of reminds me of a bandana, and a super cute kind of canvas fabric, kind of striped vibe going on. So the instructions are super quick and easy. There are lots of info for lots of different designs. It is an eight page full color fold out format. Can I see? The fold out format includes versions photographed and woven, your quilt cottons, your knits, your rayon and toweling yardage, as well as specific tips and techniques working with those substrates. There are clever options for upcycling fabrics like bandanas, which is what I'm kind of thinking this one is. It definitely gives me a bandana vibe. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, Tablecloths. The pattern includes two size options. You have a small through XL as well as a 2X, 3X with mid hip and three quarter length options. Now I'm going to give this to Chrissy to hold, but when you kind of open it up you're going to see this QR code right here and this QR code link will lead you to bonus content which includes a lookbook and video showcasing styling and fabric options you have your cutting chart here so what do you guys think of the Anytime Topper designed by Amy Barrickman I think we're going to have to fight Chrissy to get this one back because she, she's... I'm keeping all of them. <laughs> if you send us anything that Chrissy has to wear, you're not getting it back. Just disclaimer. So thank you, Chrissy. So next I'm going to show you some buttons from Dritz. So I have a bunch of different styles, but you want to know what is really fun about these is that they are produced using sustainably sourced and recycled materials. You heard that right, sourced and recycled materials. So Dritz is reclaiming disposed production leftovers. They then shred the materials and refabricate them into buttons. 
So these are the perfect finishing touch to any outfit you have or to a bag or just anything really. And it's so great that they are recycled. To see all the styles we have, because I'm going to have a whole basket full, there's a lot, make sure you visit checkerdisc.com. Next up is a tool for all of your binding needs. This is the Add a Binding Tool from CM Designs. It allows you to cut two and a quarter as well as two and a half inch binding strips. Trim at 45 degree angles, trim off tips, assist with folding binding in half. As you can see, you have a slot here for your two and a half inch, and a slot here for your two and a quarter inch strips. You are going to want to check out the video that is on our product page as well as you can visit it on our YouTube channel and it is a really great in-depth video on how to use this tool. I would take up a lot of your time walking you through it so make sure to go ahead and check that out and you're not going to want you're not going to be disappointed. Next up are items from It Takes Two. As always, they have their lovely two-year planner. So we're already thinking about 2023, guys, and 2024. I love these because they are pocket planners. They can easily go in your purse. I mean, I have such a big purse, I could probably fit a full-size calendar in there. But this is great for your smaller bags. Each month has a cute quote on it. You have a section for notes. It has your holidays on it. It even tells you the flower for that month and the birthstone for that month. So that is just great. They are available in multiple different design options as well as their note cards are, which come with their envelopes. They have notepads. Again, a great product. You're going to want to visit our website and just see all of the beautiful designs that we have from It Takes Two. Is what is called Annie's scissor holster so it's kind of on the smaller side so I'm gonna hold it up closer so you guys can see it so this is literally a one inch cube of what you have always needed to save your scissor and thread snips from separation anxiety so you have a nice adhesive here on the side and it would adhere to pretty much any surface because it's a nano tape. It's also not permanent. And so you can stick even a large pair of scissors and a pair of snips, or you know, you could probably stick a highlighter, a needle, or a seam ripper, and it's just gonna hold it right there. Because I don't know about you guys, I tend to put my stuff down and then it gets covered with fabric and I don't know, sometimes I eat while I sew, so plates and all sorts of stuff. So this is a great way to keep your stuff organized. This sign is a great way to warn your friends and family to let them know that they are not allowed to touch your sewing shears. This sign is from Sunnyside Quilts and it is a full color rounded corner sign it's on a non-terrible 14 millimeter polyester paper. So it's super easy to hang because you've already got a hang hole in here, but you can always put tape on the back if you are looking to put it on something, but you don't want to put a hole on the wall. There's a variety of these on our website. They're super cute. And it's a good disclaimer. <clears throat> Next up, you guys might have already seen that Kristen Mosier has come out with another one called Summer Succulents. This pattern is entirely stripped piece, then set into sashing, which makes it easy enough for the confident beginner or for a quick weekend retreat project. There's no fussy cutting techniques or Y seams involved. It's another great pattern for Krista's Creative Grids 60 Degree Diamond, the original color step-by-step -step instructions. I always love her illustrations 
They're very crisp and clean and clear. So you can make this as a lap, which is about 50 by 62 or the 77 by 87 full size. Ombre fabrics are repeated in geometric patterns to make up the stunning log cabin quilt by Jennifer Sampu. Value in color creates dimension while the design strips maintain a scrappy appeal. A beautiful quilt that makes the most of your ombre fabrics includes tips for building large blocks and making improvisational choices. I have a few more items to show you and then you're going to get to see new fabric from Jeff. But first let's see who else is tuned in today to watch. Hello to Glenda from Summer Breeze Quilting in Pennsylvania. Thanks for tuning in. Robin from Quilted Nest in Collingswood. Hi Robin. Pink Petunias Patchwork in Canada. Thanks for tuning in today guys. Hello Tess from the Quilted Rabbit in North Dakota. McCarter Wanda from Dizzy Divas Fabric Shop in Tennessee. Thanks so much guys. I am going to talk to you about these new wonderful bundle packs from Laser Cut Quilts. So you have the pattern that you can buy um, always by itself, but these new kits have both the pattern and the pre-printed Flexi Fuse template. This will cut out the step of you tracing the pattern onto your um, fusible because you already have it printed onto the fusible. So you're simply going to iron your fabric to the fusible and cut out the pieces and you are ready for applique. Now I'm going to show you how easy this is because I did one last night. I finished all my fusing in probably about two and a half hours. Mind you, I was watching TV, multitasking. But I did the unicorn. So I haven't, you know, stitched it down in place or bound it or anything yet. But this was really simple and it was super quick and easy. And I had never really done applique before. I mean, I've dabbled, but it was really simple. It walks you through it step by step. There are tons of great patterns available. You can kit these for your customers with full remainders or a fat eights, or you can let them choose their own fabric. I hope you guys like the color of my unicorn. I was so excited to do this. That was oh. really fun. Thank you, Jeff. See, it's days like this. I kind of wish we were actually really in front of everybody so we could be like, whoa, yeah. He's like, just anything to make her hurry up so he can get up here. That's not true. <laughs> All right, lastly, and then you can get up here, Jeff are some more great puzzles from Suns Out. We always have new puzzles coming in with new designs, so make sure you visit our website regularly to see them all. You know my favorite are the ones that have to do with cats. So I'm unraveling them upside down. So you got, you know, a thousand pieces, you have 300 pieces, which we know are more my style. So, Jeff, the floor is all yours. Enjoy seeing your new fabric, guys, and I will be back in a little bit. Thank you. I'm going to get this out of your way. Oh, and your thread. You're talking about thread. That's right. All right. Hi, everybody, again. As promised, we're back here today to show you Henry Glass and Riley Blake. Just a quick reminder, we're, don't forget to check into our website. We have Riley Blake Basics um, on promotion right now. So check with your sales rep or check our website or call our customer service representative and you can find out the details of that. So before I launch in actually the fabric, I think I want, what I want to do is I want to highlight quickly, as uh, Chess had mentioned, a new thread product. 
It's a brand new variegated polyester thread from Superior. And Cindy, you may have to go top down for this one, but um, this is just some of the colors. It's a range of 28 different colors and it's all school spirit, team spirit themed, 1600 yards, 1650 yards on each coat. Flat so they can Laying see flat, it. there we go, we'll do it like that, that's better. I mean, there's some behind me here you probably saw on the broadcast, but we've got all kinds of different variegated threads um, that you can use for making t-shirt projects or embroideries or anything you'd really like, but uh, really basic colors, school team colored uh, threads. So these are available very soon from Superior Threads, so we just wanted to call attention to those. Okay. First, for fabric, we're going to start with Henry Glass and the first collection. And all these groups that I'm showing are going to be delivering either in December, January, or February. And that's going to be true for Henry Glass or the Riley Blake that I show you today. So with that in mind, try to have your decisions on the items you'd like to you buy. Uh, you'd like to buy by the end of the summer, uh, early August, to ensure that you get uh, first delivery. Um, with, with all the supply chain issues going on, that's just a really good practice. So, The very first collection I want to show you here is called Froth and Bubble by Janet Ray Nesbitt of One Sister Designs. Every summer, Henry Glass shows us this collection and it, it's, a, it's part of her Stitch Along program. Um, her, her One Sister Club, One Sister Club 5 I should call it. But the, 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 pro, or the group is made up of a whole bunch of scrappy different let me first show it like this. Scrappy prints. Prints that are interchangeable. You can use them to fill in for all different types of projects. Bring a little bit closer to you, Jeff. Bring it down like that? Yeah. Yeah, so as you can see, One Sister always has kind of nice earth tones and neutrals that can kind of be worked into any project, but there's a nice program that goes along with this. Uh, you buy a case pack. It'll have an assortment of all, all the colors and with a few other colors, Linen Closet by uh, One Sister, um, you can actually make, participate in a program to make all, there's what, seven projects here that all begin in January. And to get the patterns for these, you sign up, you buy the case pack now, and in December, you can get the patterns all emailed to you. So it's a really nice, neat program. And, and it's, it's, there's a whole chart here for your kitting requirements, and I'm not going to bore you with that here on camera, but you can check with your sales rep or customer service representative, and they can help you with that as well. So, but that was our first group, and that one specifically is January. Next, I want to show you Priscilla's Pretty Plaids and Chelsea's Checks. Uh, Stitching with the Housewives is the name of this collection. Now, this has been out for a little bit, but there's some new colors I wanted to point out. And they do so well, this group, that I wanted, I wanted to make sure I came out and showed you these. Got a new orange, and a, these yellow and teal, light blue, kind of a dark blue or a purple. And then also in the smaller check size. And then of course the Stitching Housewife stripes are available. But this is a really nice program and a nice uh, set of basics to have in your store. So I want to show you that. Those are available all right now. You don't have to wait till January for those. Those ones are available now. Next group, December delivery to the rescue. 24 inch panel, got a nice project. Boats and trucks. We've got, oh, let's get this open. Nice block panel here. 36 inch. These blocks are 16 inches by 16 inches. Oh, that's pretty big inside. Yeah, yeah, we got a project here. Another project here. To the rescue, December. By, here we go, the Fox Homestead by Stacy West. Stacy West is back with Henry Glass Designing Collections. This one is January. Stacy West of Buttermilk Basin. Got a 36 inch panel here. This is the actual size. They're showing you this for scale. Stacy also is similar to uh, that one sister in that a lot of these prints that you're seeing are, are very neutral, toned down, and very interchangeable. So you can use them in a lot of different projects. 
the Fox Homestead. We've got project one, or just the one project there. Okay, next, January delivery, Farm Babies by Beth Logan. That just sounds adorable. It, <laughs> it does. <laughs> Baby animals. Baby animals, always do, always popular. We've got a seven inch block here. This is a um, block panel. Each of these blocks seven inches. Got a nice project. Let's show some of these coordinates. 24 inch panel here. Here's a two scale of the actual blocks. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, that is. Farm Babies delivers in January, just in time for spring. Get making them for spring. Another one that delivers next January, Fresh Picked Lemons. 24 inch panel. Lemons are so popular. Like you see it in all like the kitchen decorations. Everyone loves a lemon. Yeah. Yeah, they do. They do. Nice project. Got an apron project. You, just this, you could get this going for you. Absolutely. I love that. It even has pockets. It has pockets. 12 inch repeating stripe. And we've got some hexagonal placemat patterns here as well. Fresh picked lemons. Okay, patriotic picnic. This is February. Twenty-four inch repeat panel here, or blocks. Well, these blocks, I'm sorry, are seven inches by ten inches. Nice all-around patriotic group here. Here's a quilt, quilt two, quilt one. Two nice projects. February patriotic picnic. Okay, back to Stacy West of Buttermilk Basin. We've got buttermilk blenders now. I know the claim to fame again with Stacy, just like with One Sister, is these can just blend in with so many different projects and really a lot of the projects she has out already. So buttermilk blenders by Stacy West. You've got a nice palette of just a real easy um, blender. And this is January. 20 different SKUs, 20 different prints. Next we have Born to Roar. This is December. Oh, and this is one. Well, we'll show this here. This is a project, it's a book that you can make. 24 inch panel here for this Born to Roar group. We've got a couple different quilts. Some coordinates, got a 24 inch repeat stripe here. And this is a book panel for making a book. Another panel here, and this is a to scale stripe image. You've got these pre-cut, pre-fused laser applique packs that you can buy and uh, check with your sales rep or customer service representative on how to get those. I believe you can buy those straight from Checker as well. Um, but check with them and they can, they can guide you on that. But the nice thing about this is, is these make this, these nice books, which you've seen with Henry Glass and also Studio, Studio, e, Studio e Projects <laughs> um, in the past. But you nice books for little ones. Yeah, and they're kind of, you know, more indestructible than a paper book, and they can chew on them. And exactly, exactly. You can throw them in the wash when they're dirty. Yeah, perfect. Because if they're like my kids, <laughs> you need to wash them often. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Alpha Babies. This is February. Another book. Yeah. We've got tractors. And zoo animals, just an all-around fun kids group. 24-inch panel. We've got bees and stripes and dots and some moon and clouds here. And again, up over here, a book panel. Come fly through your alphabet with me is the name of this book.
Just a fun little book. That is Alpha Babies. February. Oh, uh, okay. Banner Hills. February as well. Kind of a traditional look. Has a traditional floral look. Real pretty. Pattern. Another pattern here. Kind of gives me reproduction vibes, but a more modern kind of reproduction. It does. It, yes, it, yeah, exactly. A very reproduction look. I'm getting good at knowing my fabric. You know your stuff. <laughs> Really pretty group. That is Bannard Hills. February. Okay. Beach bound. Also February. Get ready for this. You ready for the beach now? Yes. I'm ready. This is a long winter. There's probably a beach out there now with all the rain. <laughs> that's right. That's right. 24 inch panel. Got a nice project here. Some bikes with beach cruisers. I have a beach cruiser. Do you really? I do. You it. It's much more comfortable. I want one. Twenty or these are ten inch blocks, ten and a half inch blocks, twenty four inch repeat fabric here. Some flip flops and seashells, seagulls. That is beach bound. And lastly, from Henry Glass, we have Birds of a Feather by Gail Pan. This is February as well. 24 inch panel, got birds of a feather quilt. Got another 24 inch panel here, and a repeat stripe. Some very nice coordinates. That is birds of a feather. And that is the Henry Glass release. Again, get your orders in at least by late July, early August to make sure you get delivery. Thanks, Jessa. You're welcome. Now we will talk about Riley Blake. Our first group, Art Journal by Janet Wecker Frisch. Janet has that, she loves that um, antique illustration yeah. and advertising look. I mean, yeah. she's, she's uh, as collection after collection, she's in every release, and her, her her prints are always really popular in stores. But they always have a very very interesting look. This one's called Art Art Journal. This is a journal panel quilt with pockets. But let's open up here. Let's look at all the different prints. Musical notes. All kinds of artistic and mechanical illustrations. We've got an art journal book cover canvas panel. We've got a songbird serenade project. And we've got this interesting in the wings activity quilt, which has these. Uh, there's a couple. There's a moth and a, a ladybug that have flaps that can open, and you can have, I guess, three dimensional art here where you can open up and have a different color print underneath and that comes in a kit that you can buy so that's uh, that one is available in March of 2023 but really cool feature to this to this group here this last one is the journal panel quilt with pockets oh I showed you that one initially but this again is called art journal by Janet Wecker Frisch the group itself all the open stock yardage or the the yardage itself will deliver in February but that that kit will be March um, to go along with that, uh, we've got a, a Jan Wicker Frisch Journal Basics, which are just basics that will probably be kept around for a while that coordinate well with the previous group. But you've got character stencils, character stencils, and graph paper, and you've got type keyboard type and uh, or typewriter keys, <laughs> <laughs> right? And you've got these ticket prints, journal prints and some ledger paper and these will come in pre-cuts and there'll be 10 yard case packs 15 yard case packs but what a great complement to the previous group and really something you can just have on the shelf going forward that is journal basics 
Next we've got Wild and Free, which will deliver in January. This is a group that highlights all the state flowers of all the states of the United States. And so as you can see, we'll open up here. I don't know if you can get down close enough or if it shows, but it shows all the different states with their flower. There's Michigan with the apple blossom and Pennsylvania with the mountain laurel, but it names them all. And you have a couple quilts that you can make with these. And you've got various prints and colorways that highlight the flowers. And you've got this wild and free panel, which is a 36 inch panel, which is used to make this nice project, this panel quilt, which will come in a kit that delivers in February. And that is wild and free. Kind of a fun spring. All the bolts will deliver in January and again that kit in February. Next we have a group delivering in February called Gingham Cottage by Heather Peterson of Ancus Treasures. Bright colors. Two really cool projects with this one, these heart blossoms and this plaid and posies. You've got a, a runner here, Tulip Time, that has a kit. And Twinkly Stars as well. Available in pre-cuts and in case packs as well. Next we have Hello Spring, delivering in January. Let's look at the, all the different colors. Nice, we got a teal and a purple and a cream colorway and then reds and light reds mixed in and yellows. I call those reds, those aren't probably reds to the trained eye, but. <laughs> <laughs> Salmon. 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 Yes. Hello Spring panels here, two different colorways, a lighter pink and a cream. These panels are 36 inches. We've got a runner here that you could be used to make it. Hello Spring panel mat and runner, it's a mat and a runner. And then over here we have a couple more mats and a couple more quilts. And that is Hello Spring, also again available in pre-cuts and case packs. Next in February, we have Down the Rabbit Hole by Jill Hoarth. February. Very interesting colorway. Familiar characters. Got a couple different projects here. We've got these party panels here, 36 inch panels, and with a darker background and a lighter background. And we've got these um, quilts here, these teapots, these look like teapots, and a down the rabbit hole quilt by Red Lake Designs. Here's some two scale images. That is down the rabbit hole. Oh, next we've got big game. That's quite a transition from the previous <laughs> right to the January group. Couple different colorways, all big western game, northern animals and west stuff you would see out west, bison, buffalo, elk, deer, some camouflage prints. We've got these big game pencil painting panels, 36 inch panels here. And then this is just one panel here. These are separate. We've got a nice kit. Delivers in February. We've got this nice bison quilt here, 72 inch by 80 inches. And a couple more projects as well. That is big game. Next in February, golf days. This is my doctor says I need more greens. <laughs> I think all doctors say that. I, all dogs like to golf, but I think they recommend vegetables. This is a nice golf themed group here. We've got different colorways, grays and blues, dark greens, those safe colors for men. 
pillow panels. Got another project there. Simple group, but really nice. Golf, we don't get a lot of golf groups. No. No, so that's fun. Portsmouth, February. Kind of a coastal feel. Coastal colors. Oh, I got a nice four nice projects here. Got a nice kit. That's a cool patriotic group right here. This is Portsmouth by Amy Smart. Next I have Kindness Always, January Delivery, Bright Group. That is very bright. Yeah, look at that. Cheery. We've got a couple Kindness Always panels, 36 inches each, a lighter pink and a blue background. Nice panel quilt. Pre-cut party quilt. Oh, this one uses pre-cuts. Perfect. Kindness always. That again is January. Okay, for the little ones again, we've got little band. January. It's a Crayola introduces our little band. Sorry. Little elephants and bears. And Crayola crayons in there. Got a nice panel and a project. It's got a quilt kit that comes in this really neat Crayola quilt kit box. Oh, that's super fun. Yeah, they, they do that quite often when they use the Crayola, um, when they put Crayola into their collections, they use that box and it's really neat. Shops love that, they tell us that. Riley Blake just has a lot of great kits. Yes, they do. Very cute. Yes, they do. That is our little band, January. All right, for some of the older kids, a little bit older, Barbie Girl, January. Barbie Dreamhouse Pack and Play Felt Panel. Check that out. Whoa. Which looks like uh, clothing cutouts and all kinds of interesting stuff. I didn't have all these options as a kid, Sasha, did you? Right. These aren't your mom's Barbies, are they? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've got some, um, looks like some bags and these, oh, you can put these, these, uh, or I guess you can use these cutouts to put on bags. This is really interesting, though. Got a nice quilt kit, or a nice quilt, sorry. Kind of a two-scale image of what you can get on that panel. That is Barbie Girl. Okay, almost to the end here. Hoist the sails. This is January. Kind of a pirate themed group. Want to go to the beach? Right. Go to the beach and you meet the pirates. Yeah, free time. All three colorways. A couple of nice projects. We've got Hoist the Sails panel and then a Hoist the Sails panel quilt. Summer bunting panel project or quilt project. Constellation, I like that. That's interesting. 44 inch by 36 inch panel piece here. Or regular piece here. This is this is a repeat. 44 inch by 36 inch repeat. This is hoist the sails. January. And lastly, for February, we have Eden. This is a typical Riley Blake, beautiful floral group. They do so well with those florals. Strong colors. We've got At a Glance by Wendy Shepard. And a fancy schmancy project also by Wendy Shepard. Two nice projects to go along with this group. We also carry her pattern separately. We do, don't we? Yes. Yeah. Really nice group, strong colors. That is Eden. And that's what I have today for Henry Glass and Riley Blake. Now we can hang out and talk about the giveaway. <laughs> well, 
you guys know every week this month we are doing a giveaway in honor of our market share social quilting event this week you can enter the win the reliable velocity sensor steam iron this is full of great technological features including the sensor steam handle it's an advanced home iron that can take care of your toughest creases maybe we'll let Jeff try it for his fabric cards he does not iron <laughs> It has eco and turbo settings, so it's great for pretty much everything you have going on. It's super easy to enter. You just need to be a Checker customer and a part of our Checkers private Facebook group. This giveaway will be posted on our private Facebook group later today. To enter, simply put your shop name and location in the comments. Plus, you need to like the post. If you're not a member of our group, we will post a link in the comments so that you can join easily. You have until 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this coming Friday, May 20th, to register to win this week's giveaway. Good luck! Are there any questions we missed, Sasha? Alright, well if you guys end up having a question for myself or Jeff, you can go ahead and put it in the comments. We do watch this, so we get notifications if you guys post a comment and we can give you an answer. You are always able to get a hold of your sales rep or our customer service team, and they are all ready to help. So even though May is spring quote market time and we do not have one, we have been doing our market share event and we have two more Wednesdays, the two next Wednesdays, plan to virtually share more of the newest sewing and quilting notions and maybe you'll see Jeff again with some more fabric releases, we'll have to see. And um, earlier this week an email was sent to you and there's also been posts on our private Facebook group about some amazing market share special promotions for this week. In case you missed that, make sure you check back in your email or stop by our private Facebook group for all the details. Um, Jeff, a lot of these were your, all of them I think were your vendors. You had uh, stuff from Riley Blake and Mettler and Guterman. And Guterman, yeah. Yeah, so these promo w will end on a Sunday, May 22nd, so make sure you get your orders in and shop the sale. Again, the next two Mondays we will still be back here for our market share event. And I will see you in one week, Wednesday, May 25th, which is my dad's birthday, so we'll have to do a little birthday shout-out. So thanks for being a Checker customer, and we'll see you guys later.